If you ever wanted to add text overlays and lower thirds in the Riverside editor, your wish has been granted. Now you can add multiple text overlays right in the Riverside editor throughout your recording, and we've given you multiple ways to do it for all the flexibility of editing your content via the transcript or the timeline and using all the powerful tools right in the Riverside editor. Here's how to add text overlays to your recording in Riverside. I've logged into my Riverside account and I'll go to a recent recording. Here you have all the tools you know and love like generate AI show notes with one click, generating magic clips, those vertical videos for social media, and of course you can download the high quality video and audio files for every participant. But we're gonna click the create new edit button in the upper right hand corner to jump into the Riverside editor. Of course you can edit via transcript to, and your speakers are color coded both here and down in the timeline, makes it easy to edit and the auto generated chapter markers. But if we wanted to add text overlays like a lower third, I'm gonna zoom into the timeline. I'll put the playhead exactly where I'd like to insert some text and you'll see a new tool here on the right hand side called text. Here I can select some pre-made designs from my text overlays or start with plain text and customize it further. Maybe I wanna put a lower third for a guest name. I'll click this smart styles name right here. And once that text is overlaid, I can move it anywhere in the frame. I'll put it here in the bottom left corner and you'll see you have all these formatting options right here on the player. I can select a different style. Maybe I wanna do outline text. You have multiple fonts to choose from. You can adjust the size of the text. You can change the highlighted color. You can choose your capitalization or go to all caps. If you have multiple lines of text, you can choose to write, justify, or center it. And you can even add multiple layers of text and then bring it forward or backward as needed. Let's say I'd like to duplicate this because I have another title. And now I can move this title over here. If I ever need to edit the text, I can just double click, place my cursor where I need and change the name. And now I have my text overlays right here in the timeline. I'll use these zoom in and out buttons to get a closer look and clicking one reveals how long it will last on the video. I can put my mouse here on the right or left side and then click and drag it to make the title last longer. I can select Kendall's lower third and then click that to make it longer as well. If I wanted to move where this text started, I can just click and drag it earlier in the timeline or later. Keep in mind that if you have two text overlays happening at the same time, they will appear as one overlay. So moving it to the left or to the right will change both pieces of text. If I wanted to add a second, I'll move the playhead later in the timeline, click text. I can autofill the chapter title. I'll move this down here. And now you'll see another text overlay. If I want this to happen at the same time as our lower thirds, I can still drag it to the left. And now you'll see all of the lower thirds are happening at the same time. Click on one of the text overlays here in the video preview to highlight it down in the timeline, and then you can move it over again. You'll also see in the transcript, a little T marking for text overlays that are happening as we speak. If I wanted to add another text overlay via the transcription, I can click here in the transcript. I'll highlight some words for how long I want the title to appear and you'll see a new add element option. I can also click the three dots on the right side to add a chapter marker, create a new edit from the selected text, or delete everything in this clip except only what I have selected. Or I can cut, copy, and duplicate this content and use it again here in this clip. But I'll click add element and you'll see the text overlay appear here on the right side. I'll choose this option and you'll see it took all the text that I had highlighted and created that as an overlay. If I ever wanted to remove it, I can click the T icon here in the transcript it will highlight the lower third, then I can click the three dots and remove, and then that text element is gone. If I want it back, I can just hit the undo button, which will undo any of the edits I make in this clip. Let's add one more text overlay to show you the forward and backward. Let's say Kendall's name is here. Let's make it large. If I wanted this behind the other text that I have, I can click the three dots and click send backward, and you'll see it is now layered underneath this large block of text. I can then click this large block of text, hit the three dots and send that backwards, and I'm changing the order as to which these text overlays appear. And this is still separate from the overlaid captions, so I can click the captions tool and still choose to overlay captions throughout this clip. I still have all the options for font, size, and color, and that will follow along the transcript throughout the entire clip. When you have everything perfect and you're ready to export, click the share button in the upper right-hand corner. You can export up to 4K video, normalize the audio so everything's the same level, and you're ready to export. And that's our new text overlay feature in the Riverside editor. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. I answer those personally. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside YouTube channel right here. Any new features, you'll see tutorials and news on it right here on the channel. And if you wanna learn more about Riverside and see some of the other amazing features we've launched recently, I'll leave a playlist right up here and another video right up here that YouTube thinks you'll really enjoy. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.